I'm Luke. Luke, uh, with the Hawaiian Fire Surf School, and these guys absolutely rock. Uh, how long have you been instructing? One year for me, but the company's been open for six years. Yes, and started by firemen who surfed during the day anyway and decided they might as well be helping other people learn how to surf. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, firemen work uh, like 72 hours a week, but like three days in a row. Mm -hmm. So they have some off time. So during that time, they come out here and teach people how to surf. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, it looks like a good day for it. So. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. You want to talk to the owner? You guys paddle out to us. We're going to have to go over the white water waves. Okay. If this is the wave right in front of me and it's coming at me, I'm going to take it head on. Okay. I'm going to paddle right into the wave. As it approaches the nose of the board, it's the most important thing I'm going to teach you all day. You're going to grab the rail. These are your rails right by your chest and do a push up. Okay. What will happen is the wave will break underneath your chest. You guys will pop right over the top. What's really important though, like I say, is to get the hands by the chest. This is where all the leverage comes from. Why it's important is because you're gonna put your hands in the same position when you go to stand up on the board. Okay? A lot of beginners put their hands far forward, they lift, wave slaps them in the face, pushes them back 10 more yards. So what does that mean for you guys? More paddle. <laughs> okay? You guys will seriously ask me for a motor on the back of this board after about the first 20 minutes. What are you thinking before your lesson gets started? Oh, uh, I just want to catch some waves. All right. What do you think of the surf conditions today? It looks kind of rough. Me and him went out and the waves were like knocking us over. Oh, really? So you've been out already in the waves yeah. today? Yeah, but not surfing. Not surfing, just okay. Like, yeah. Hopefully it'll be easier with the board, right? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. All okay. right, have fun. Okay, thanks. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes You're on yes. our honeymoon. Ah, oh, congratulations. <laughs> That's it will awesome. Be an interesting experience. <laughs> so, in case you haven't figured it out, the instructors are all wearing the red rash guards with the turquoise boards, and the students are in the blue rash guards with the yellow. So I'm here, we're going to take a brief walk because my guys here say it's beach walks with rocks, so it's important that we walk after surfing. Yes. So uh, Christopher and Trevor, tell us how, how was your uh, lesson? Um, Great. It was good. Great. Awesome. Tell me something you liked about it. Um, catching the waves, d dunking in the water. Especially the teachers. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. That? Teachers. Especially the teachers. Yeah. Oh, okay, so tell me what you liked about the teachers. Well, they, they were really nice. They wouldn't go ahead and then start doing all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, they were th supportive, yeah. Um, helpful, all, all sorts of things. They helped you out. Very good. So, um, do you plan on doing some more surfing? Um, yeah. yeah, I do. We'll go to like, another beach on Friday or we'll surf some more. Very good, very good. So, what did you think of these waves today? They're really big and nice. Rough. Except um, they weren't as glassy <laughs> as yeah, San they're, Diego. They're fast. Great wave for surfing. Um, a lot of whitewash and stuff. If a kid is maybe a little bit scared of surfing or they think they can't do it, what would you say to them to encourage them to surf? If there's a beach that has like, you know, big wave and a shallow end, I'll encourage them to go right there. Like, you know, like the two five feet out. Okay, what about you Trevor? What would you encourage kids to do to try surfing? Um, probably the same thing. Okay. Alrighty. 
Well, Bert, let's do our sign off. So, uh, if you'd like to Skype the conch shell and give us a message for these guys and tell them how their surfing was, you can Skype at Roxanne Darling. If you'd like to use your phone, do you know the number? No. Okay. Christopher watches a lot. I thought yeah. you might know the number. If you'd like to call, the number is 949 544 1456. Aloha, everybody. Tell us your name. I'm Noah, like Noah's Ark. <laughs>